had him organize those little cards. Yeah, like a cave person. Well, it doesn't matter. We can't afford it. End of story. Not exactly end of story. What does that mean? I've been setting money aside the last couple of years, and this might be a good use for it. Money from what? You know, here and there. Bookkeeping for the church, some seamstress work, birthday money for my Aunt Zelda. Just how much it is here and there money you got saved up? Well, seeing as it's my money, I don't think that's any of your business. None of my business? You see every nickel I'm making, you got secret money? It's not secret, I just told you. Where are you hiding it? Well, now you're headed into secret territory. Oh, okay. Just so I'm clear, my money's our money, but your money's your money. That's right. Oh, good to know. I'm glad we're not having her once a week, because I am not in the mood. Really? That's too bad. Why, are you? No! That was uncalled for. to tell you a girl called for you what girl i don't know a girl well what'd she say it's hard to remember this was months ago hey two cases you've got to be kidding me don't worry i didn't use your money use mine finish your dinner and then pack a bag we are going to Mimos. why because your mom and dad need a break from each other for how long? I don't know. Just peck. Will I need earmuffs? Sure, if you want. Although my almanac does predict mild temperatures. Then don't bring it. I'll just bring my almanac. You know what? I'll bring both. Well, should I pack my toothbrush or use the one I keep at Mimo's? I got this one. Nobody cares. I don't want to go to Mimo's house. What if that girl calls back? Fine, then stay here with your father. Sheldon and Missy, we are out of here in half an hour. Not a lot of time to pick a toothbrush. Come on in. Mom and Dad need a break. We don't know how long. What's he got in there? Everything. I ain't never getting married. Yet so. Yeah, women are nothing but trouble. I get it. Hello, George is speaking. Did you run to the phone? Do you feel stupid? Who was it? Nobody. This little tiff between your mom and me will blow over. Don't make a big deal of it. I'm not. I'm just saying I'm better suited to the single life. Now how you picture that? Okay. Well, you know the buffet at Golden Corral where there's all kinds of choices and you can have as much as you want? Yeah. It'll be like that, only with hot girls. Georgie, I'll bet you $1,000 you're married before you're 25. You got a bet. I feel like I'm stealing your money. Georgie married his first wife at 19. He never paid my father. Well, I gotta tell you how happy I am that y'all are spending the night with me. Your house smells like cigarettes. So happy. Sheldon, we've talked about this. You don't need to announce to people how things smell. Hmm. All right, you two, settle in. Are you and Dad gonna get a divorce? Of course not. Are you sure? Packing up your kids in the middle of the night and moving in with your mom has all the earmarks of a divorce. We're not getting a divorce. Okay, go to sleep. Sweet dreams. I can't believe Mom and Dad had to fight over beer. I don't think the fight was about beer. I think there was more subtext. You're probably right. Then again, I don't know what subtext is. I don't want to get in your business, but since you're getting in my bed, I'm getting in your business. Go ahead. 